What advice would you give to someone who's trying to network with influential people but doesn't have access to the alumni network of a top business school? Let me take that one. I think you should do the best you can. <laughs> <laughs> Playing the hand you've got. Charlie's very Old Testament on this. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't get much past Genesis. <laughs> now, if it was his question that he didn't have a lot of associations because of well, he just, uh, he'd like to have you help him tap into ta do well without business school training. I never had any business school no. training. Why should you have any? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And actually, I would say the business school training, particularly in investments, was a handicap about 20 years ago when they were preaching efficient market theory because essentially they told you it didn't do any good to try and figure out what a company was worth because the market had a price perfectly already. Now, imagine paying, you know, thirty or forty thousand dollars a year to hear that. <laughs> yes. You were very lucky to avoid a lot that, we, that you've avoided. How do you feel about your law school training, Charlie, while we're on it? <laughs> Well, uh, I have a son-in-law who recently explained how modern profit-obsessed law school law firms work. He says it's like a pie-eating contest, and if you win, you get to eat a lot more pie. <laughs> <laughs>